Here comes Kaya's battle. Boom! Right up the middle, he is gonna go! Welcome to Princeton, New Jersey, and the campus of the Princeton Day School. This is the Lisa McGraw Class of 1944 skating rink. Today it's a rivalry battle in central New Jersey as the Princeton Day School Panthers at 5-2-2. Two, two. They host the Lawrenceville Big Red, schools located just four miles apart. The Big Red with an overall mark of 4-5-2. Good evening and welcome to our coverage tonight on Play by Play Sports Productions. I'm Ralph Bidnarczyk. Thrilled to have you with us. After a two-year hiatus, this game and rivalry has been renewed for the Lawrenceville Big Red. They're led by A.J. Maynor, a captain, three years on the varsity. He's from Washington, D.C. Second leading scorer, rather Justin Solovey, senior from Holmdale, New Jersey. Leading scorer with seven goals and four assists. Talented goal scorer as Division I interest plays for the New Jersey Junior Titans, he's played already a couple of NAHL games, four goals with one goal and one assist there. Played two years at Marlboro High School, knows how to find time and space to score. And for the Princeton Day School, Adam Teriak is a senior winger, transfer from Del Barton after 2020. He's become PDS's leading goal scorer. Seven goals, five assists, a very good offensive player, coming off of some strong games. Gorgeous goal at St. Joe's Montville last time out couple of good games and performances leading up to that as well. He will need to be significant today for PDS taking on a Lawrenceville team that is bigger, older with several players already 18 years of age and older. But this is a rivalry game that has been renewed. First time the two teams are playing since an overtime game that PDS won at Baker Arena on the campus of Princeton University in 2020. PDS in Lawrenceville coming up, but first we'll have the playing of our national anthem here from Lisa McGraw Skating Rink. So the Princeton Day School taking on Lawrenceville in a renewed rivalry. Ralph Pinorczyk on hand. Two teams mostly have been unscathed by the virus recently. Lawrenceville had some cancellations, some makeups that have been scheduled. They had cancellations three in a row, January 5th, 7th, the 9th, and the 12th, make it four in a row on the 12th, but they got back on the ice Sunday, scored three third period goals to tie Northfield Mount Hermon up in Massachusetts on the road. Princeton Day, they've been off since the 13th, where they played last week at preseason number 10 in New Jersey, St. Joe's, Montville. They won it 2 0. Princeton Day entered the season preseason nine in the state. They are playing NJSIAA hockey for the first time, being part of the sanctioned New Jersey tournament this year across all sports. 
White on black with blue trim for the Panthers of PDS. Red on red for Lawrenceville and the big red. Richard Smith is in goal, a 5'11 junior from Riverdale, New York, up in the Bronx for the Big Red. He's been the primary starter for fifth year coach Keith Dupin. Here is a shot that is blocked in front of Richard Smith and nearly cleared up the wall, but down the line comes Han Shin. First decor pairing here for PDS coach Scott Bertoli in his fifth season, former standout at Princeton University. In goal is 5'11 senior Timmy Miller for PDS. As this puck comes in front and eventually be covered by Miller. All area by the Trenton Times last year in 2021 as PDS did play six games. They went 4-1-1. One one. Lawrenceville, on the other hand, did not play last year. Most boarding schools across New England did not have any hockey in 2021. So for Keith Goody's team, only four players entering the year had played anything for the Big Red or any minutes of varsity hockey as we'll get a face off here to the right of Miller. So PDS had at least that under their belts coming into the season. Second line here for Princeton Day, Liam Jackson, sophomore centering Adam Teriak, and freshman Wyatt Iwan China. Face off win by Lawrenceville. Here is AJ Maynard, the captain and a Washington DC product as Maynard, 18 year old senior, Backhanded it in, moved along for Luke Benitez in the corner, 15 in red, a sophomore from Chatham, New Jersey, before the puck is cleared out by PDS. Just underway here, 17 minute periods. PDS will get the clearance from sophomore Connor Stratton. And down ice it goes for Lawrenceville's Leo Drazen. Third decor pairing here for Keith Dupin's team that's going to run four lines and three decor pairings. Very deep group for the Lawrenceville Big Red. Down left wing, Kane Benitez. He has canceled out Han Shin. Look for the clearance up the middle. That was denied. Puck kept in again, Benitez rather along the wall. Kept in momentarily by Lawrenceville before it is cleared out. That was Ryan, La Ryan Ding, a Freshman third line winger from Irvine, California. Lawrenceville with four Californians on the roster. Ding came with the four check. And down the middle of the pass, and here comes PDS. As they're in the midst of the change as Nick Bruno sent it in. Lawrenceville scored 34 goals on the year. Princeton Day, 25. Back behind it comes for sophomore Jet Kramer. And Kramer loses it to Connor Stratton of PDS. The sophomore's got four assists this year. He can factor in significantly for the Panthers should they generate numerous power plays today. Back behind, some good work being done by Lawrenceville. And down the middle is Oliver Hall. Hall pressed up against the glass, down to right wing, Ryan Vandal. The first line out here for PDS with Riley Schmidt and Hall. The connecting pass, Vandal. Dropped it off for Oliver Hall. Look to center it across for Riley Schmidt. Schmidt is a sophomore, seven points. A dynamic center iceman describes Scott Bertoli. Can that line produce tonight against Lawrenceville? And the physicality, just the older bunch of the Big Red and most prep school teams will have. Puck kept in momentarily, then the shot coming wide from Nick Gingras, Montreal born center, senior center iceman. Now the cross ice feet, Miller makes the save on Gingras. Great pass from Tiernan O'Rourke, a sophomore from Darien, Connecticut to find Gingras. And Miller making the save. Well, Scott Bertoli talking about how Miller has come and taken the next step in his career. Probably the two best games of his season were last week. 27 saves at St. Joe's Montville, 29 more at Bergen Catholic. Those are both teams that are ranked in the NJ.com top 10. And perennial powers with lots of club hockey kicks. Good keep for PDS and White Iwan Sheena as it's sent behind Richard Smith. 
Iwan China, freshman center Iceman. Moved along to the left point. And the point shot from Stratton to play it in. That was blocked, never got through. And here come the big red of Lawrenceville as they're off for a change. Good hustle behind by Eric Vivanetto, junior out of Wyckoff, New Jersey. A transfer from Don Bosco to keep it alive momentarily. And this is Vivanetto with the big red completing their change. We've played nearly five minutes, no score tonight in Princeton. Stratton as he tried to go down the middle and the pass deflected by Justin Solovine. And here comes Maynard. Maynard, a brief opportunity, and Miller makes the save. The closeout came from PDS just to prevent Maynard from getting uh, any wider. Junior Will Brown got there. And Miller seeing the puck well early. Offensive zone faceoff win, Riley Schmidt of PDS. And that puck could not be kept in by Drazen. Drazen, though, will recover for Lawrenceville. And now Maynard, two on two. Feed down the middle, but a wonderful back check from behind by Han Shin to cancel out the opportunity. The eyes got big for the Lawrenceville rush, two on two, before Shin with a clean takeaway. Now down left wing, Solovey. Solovey pressed to the glass by Oliver Hall of PDS. Both teams like to get up and down in transition. For PDS, as here comes Riley Schmidt down left wing as he shoots and the save is made. Richard Smith will hang on for a defensive zone faceoff. Talking to Scott Bertoli, his team arguably has perhaps relied too much on transition. He'd like to play a little bit more five on five below the dots. That's what it's going to take to win in March. I'll get the top teams in the state, such as Crispin Brothers Academy. There's Scott Bertoli, bundled up tonight in his 15th year. Cycling down low, establishing great chemistry, and playing through contact. Those are the things he'd love to see his team improve on in the five on five. And for Lawrenceville, as here is a takeaway, as down left wing, the puck held up briefly. And back come the big red. William Yee, terrific defenseman, but then he overskates. Yee might be the tough defenseman for the big red. And PDS in the midst of a change. For Lawrenceville, their strength is their tremendous depth of the four lines. Three decor pairings might play as many as eight. And they have a transition game, too. But I got the sense from Keith Dupain, they have been a little bit more balanced in terms of how they've gotten their goals. Transition versus five on five. Five on four, on the other hand, for Lawrenceville, that has been a work in progress. A low percentage so far for the Big Red. And having power plays. Up the line, Will Brown sent it. And here come the Panthers of PDS. As that puck came up and I think hit one of the Big Red players up on their bench. So we'll have a neutral zone faceoff with 9.55 left. Opening period. Timmy Miller will plays for the Mercer Chiefs U18 team. Last year, 98% save percentage in the six games. He was awesome. And put himself on the radar in New Jersey. As Gingras, backhand opportunity, blocker save made by Miller on the point blast coming from Harrison Byland, junior defenseman from Montclair, New Jersey of Lawrenceville. Now working for the second puck, Liam Matthews. Greenwich, Connecticut native as he plays it in for Vivanetto. Vivanetto only able to backhand it along under the rest of Han Shin. And Shin will force it out of the zone. Now down left wing, some room for Riley Schmidt. Schmidt unable to get the puck deep. Shin, though, knocked it down momentarily and does well to prevent the rush from Nicholas Gingras. Nine minutes to go, opening period. No score tonight from Princeton Day School. Terrific facility if you've ever been here. They have built a squash courts next to it. Study hall room, it is just comfortable here. 
as Lawrenceville did not have numbers in the breakup game from Ace Iwanchina. Among the interesting storylines, the Iwanchina brothers, Ace is a junior, Wyatt is a freshman for the Princeton Day School, mom, Lisa Iwanchina, is the girls lacrosse head coach and field hockey coach at Lawrenceville. So that must have been very interesting in the week leading up to this game. Mom is in her second stint as the Lawrenceville Big Red girls lacrosse coach. And she was a former two-sport All-American athlete in field hockey and lacrosse during her time at Princeton. Puck kept in off the takeaway, A.J. Maynard before Maynard is canceled out. Good check by Connor Stratton. Cole Fenton to send it up the boards, but not out. Fenton one more jab at it. Liam Jackson worked there for Princeton Day School. Will press it up the glass along with Adam Terrier. Trying to fish it out is Maynard, as Maynard sent it up the line, but it just skips past the point man there in Leo Drazen for Lawrenceville. Lawrenceville in the midst of a change, so back to go get it is Will Brown. Swooping in to handle it is Justin Solovey. Worked it to the point. Solovey, double team, did not cycle it. And instead, it's pushed forward by the Panthers. And down the middle comes Adam Terriak with good speed. Terriak gets the shot off wide. A riser past Richard Smith. And the big red quickly off a long rebound the other way. Down left wing, sophomore Jet Kramer from Atlanta, Georgia. That puck could not be kept in by the Big Red. And Lawrenceville to resume from their own comforts. Down right wing, William Yee, centering feed, and the shot missed. Great step into a shot, Ryan Ding with the game's best chance. Follow up opportunity by Yee as he swings it across, looking for Ding. And some help along the boards from Kramer. And finally fished out by Vandal of PDS, and he forces it out of the zone. Lawrenceville out shooting PDS by a healthy margin. But Timmy Miller has made it hold up with three saves. But the missed look by Ding, standing out in this opening period of this rivalry game is this shot, missed to the short side for Lawrenceville. Right back in as the initial shot came from 6'4", 210-pound senior Brian Kastenberg of Lawrenceville. And a big hit laid on by Lucas Robbins to keep the puck alive for Lawrenceville. Then the point shot coming, Miller making the initial save, and then he will find the second puck before Kastenberg could flex his muscle. Scott Bertoli has said, we've had some great goalies here at Princeton Day School. Miller at 5'11", 170, such a competitor. He had the game of his life, perhaps, in 2020 at Baker Rink against Lawrenceville, stealing that win in overtime for the Panthers. And this is shaping up to be perhaps another game like that where Princeton Day can rely on their trusted senior. And meanwhile, for Princeton Day, they have not been able to get out in transition at all. Lawrenceville on a good keep. Harrison Bylin came up the line. Help from Liam Matthews. Matthews nearly fished it out himself. Terriak for PDS. And a two-on-two -two battle here with five minutes to go. First period, no score. Finally, Chris Bebecki, senior utility man. Scott Pertoli can play him in a number of spots. Here's a two on one the other way, and the feed across, and Wyatt Ewan China just missed him. Liam Jackson found him in a brief two on one. Now Jackson, Connor Stratton. Jackson, Jackson goes in and out, down to the backhand opportunity. Smith made the save. Best save for Richard Smith, best scoring chance for PDS. As sophomore Liam Jackson found a puck he could potentially poach. Jackson had two opportunities. Loves to skate and handle. Plays for the Mercer Chiefs. 
And we get a second look at it as Richard Smith came up with the denial. Catches the puck with his right hand, plays for the local New Jersey Rats in the fall 21. As his backhand effort is blocked, but on the follow-up. Lawrenceville will keep it as they look to go across for Yi. Now back to the right point, Yi will drag the blue line. Solovey, Yi, Yi with a point shot, that's blocked. Never got through. The block shot coming from Han Shin, then the follow-up shot, the flex up onto the screen. So far, second pucks in corners in Lawrenceville's physicality has shown itself. And there was that block shot from Shin. Shin off the PDS faceoff win. Down the line came Bylin. And this puck cleared out. Harrison Bylin, another player that has great interesting connections in this game. Harrison's dad played lacrosse at the Princeton Day School. Centering feed is blocked. The stick of Will Brown got it for the Panthers. And now Brown will turn away from A.J. Maynard. And Brown, a good pass on target for Oliver Hall. Hall able to get in, and the shot deflecting high and wide, but we'll have our first power play coming up. Should be a hooking call against Lawrenceville. So the Princeton Day School to try to take advantage of the game's first power play. It will be a hook. And indeed, the brief little hook by the defenseman of Lawrenceville. Offensive zone face off for PDS. And the clearance for Lawrenceville. Connor Stratton, Han Shin, the point man for Scott Bertoli's PDS Panthers. And he goes to his first line of Riley Schmidt. Ryan Vandal looks like White Iwan China. We'll start off here. Stratton, and Stratton knocked down by Kastenberg. We'll get some time here on the PK unit for the Big Red. And now the puck sent up the wall and out. The first 35 seconds gone on the Princeton Day School power play. Shin connecting with Riley Schmidt. Schmidt gains the zone, then takes the quick shot wide, nearly surprising Richard Smith. Stratton. Across he worked it. Then the shot inside looking for Liam Jackson for the deflection. And battle for the loose puck. Comes out here to Connor Stratton. Stratton across Will Brown. Brown with patience with 45 seconds left on the game's first power play. Under two minutes left, first period. And that puck came across the blue line. Riley Schmidt trying to drag it along, went offside. So the faceoff will come out of the zone with 40 seconds remaining on the Princeton Day School power play. And about the faceoff win from Lawrenceville, Ace Iwan Chida. Now the center iceman on this second power play unit for Princeton Day. Adam Terrier. As Terrier tried to get around Kyle Beck. San Diego born defenseman for Lawrenceville and the Big Red with another clearance. Final 10 seconds for PDS. And they got one shot on the power play. Out of the box is Tiernan O'Rourke, who committed the hook. And the Big Red have killed it off. Brown. As Brown looked to play it into the corner, looking for Oliver Hall. 
And Maynard will connect on left wing now for the Big Red. Looking to toe drag through, then making the save on Vivanetto is Miller. Brown will punch it along, and Terriak for the final 40 seconds of the opening period heads off for a change. So does Hall. So PDS 0 for 1. Then a steal. Down left wing, Smith makes the save on Vandal. Brian Vandal, there was an example of his game. An opportunistic player. Scott Bertoli has seen him grow. Last year, two goals and two assists. Coming up, we will look back at one of the games in this rivalry, the 2019 matchup that we broadcast here on the Play-by-Play -play Sports Network and Sports Productions. At, that came at Baker Arena on the campus of Princeton. And we certainly hope that Baker will host this rivalry matchup in years to come. As Matthews got the drop pass off sides. And Baker is just, if you've never been in Baker Arena at Princeton, it's worth to go watch a game there. First of all, it is small but cozy. And the energy in there and noise just reverberates through. And if you get a few hundred people in there, it makes an impact. Icing waved off. Now a takeaway. Feet across, a shot, Smith making the save on Riley Schmidt. Which is 2.6 remaining. A takeaway by Wyatt Iwanchina. And that proved to be nearly disastrous for Lawrenceville. We'll have another look at it. Here is the keep by Wyatt. Iwanchina drew in the defender. And Riley Schmidt in great position. So Lawrenceville under duress in the final two minutes of the opening period, but we are scoreless. The Princeton Day School and Lawrenceville. A rivalry renewed for the first time in two years. No score at the end of one period. We'll be back in 15 minutes to bring you the second period. You're watching play-by-play -play sports productions.
center, senior center Iceman. Now the cross ice feet. Miller makes the save on Gingrich. Center, senior center.
Back live on the Play-by-Play -play Sports Network from Princeton Day School. No score, the PDS Panthers hosting the Lawrenceville Big Red in this renewed rivalry after missing the 2021 game. Ralph Norchuk with you as we have a look at some of our highlights. This was a late opportunity. Timmy Miller, though, was excellent throughout the course of the opening period, and he'll have to stay that way for PDS. High quality chances belong to the Big Red over the duration of the 17 minute period. This was Eric Vivanetto's chance. That was stopped by Miller. Liam Jackson here able to go in and out and then his backhand denied by Richard Smith of Lawrenceville. That's been by far the best chance over the course of the period. Then this one by Riley Schmidt led to a penalty on Tiernan O'Rourke of Lawrenceville. Just one shot though on the power play. Then in the final seconds, Look at this feed, Wyatt Iwachinwa, and his shot in the final second, stop made by Smith on Riley Schmidt. And that's where we stand, no score. PDS 0 for 1 of the power play, just one shot. The Big Red without an opportunity on the power play. Two great programs with history. Lawrenceville still 2020 Mid-Atlantic Hockey League Tournament champions. For the first time, the MAHL is now in its eighth year. So they're still defending champs. They defeated rival Hill School 3-0 in 2020. They lost to Hill School in a non-conference game. They'll play the Hill School coming up later this season in what would be a MAHL league game. Puck sent to the right of Richard Smith. Both starting goalies remaining on. And the Big Red with Tiernan O'Rourke. From Darien, came up through the Fairfield Junior Rangers. He turns it over. Opportunity to come the other way for PDS and look at a knife his way through. Before he was canceled, that was Han Shin. And Shin has played an active game. He is a defenseman. As down left wing comes Liam Matthews. Matthews is shooting, and this one blockered away by Miller of PDS. Back behind, looking to win the next puck before PDS will wind it around. As the Panthers in the midst of a change. O'Rourke taking off the puck, Riley Schmidt. And now the puck will come out of the zone, and here comes Nick Gingras. Gingras into two on two, two on two as he took it the other way, and then as his stick lifted just at the last moment. Nice drop off opportunity. Justin Solovey's backhand went wide. Vivanetto went down the line and into the corner before PDS will send it down ice. Harrison Bylin under pressure, turns it over. Adam Terriak will send it in for the Panthers. Right there is Liam Jackson to go to work. Pressed up against Lucas Robbins. Then the takedown of Robbins. And the PDS student section happy with that hit as here comes Solovey. Solovey tried to tone drag through, well defended by PDS and Chris Bebecki. And on a puck down the middle, moving room in time for Nick Bruno and his shot goes wide. Bruno may have had even more room in time than anticipated. And Bruno has fought his way into the lineup, a solid defensive player that's battled knee issues the last four to six months. Finally has gotten healthy. Coming off of an assist in the game at St. Joe's Montville is this shot by Solovey is stopped and gloved by Miller. So we played two minutes. No score in this second period. And Miller seeing the puck very well. And for the big red, Keith Dupin talking about his offense and into this game. It's, if this game is choppy, then it's us trying to find our game. That the strength of this team, the style of play, is that they're transitioning well with speed and attacking. Lawrenceville, I think, was held up well enough by PDS not to be able to do that. And PDS was able to find some transition opportunities particularly off of a couple of giveaways by Lawrenceville. So that's the way this game is shaped out to this point. Face-off win by the Big Red, and Drazen will move it back behind. 
the point comes Drazen. We'll play behind for Brian Kastenberg, who lets it go and curl around to the corner. Then the puck could not be kept in by Kramer of Lawrenceville. Icing waved off. PDS not in the midst of a change, so Drazen will have to look up and turn to his left for senior Kyle Beck. Then Beck loses it as he overskates to Oliver Hall. Brown goes cross ice and makes the connection with Hall. Hall able to go in and out, and he would have had the opportunity to play it inside for Vandal. Hall looking to win the next puck. Great cross ice pass from Will Brown. Sprung a scoring opportunity for PDS. Vandal back on the pressure before Drazen sent it ahead. Now a drop shot and coming from Beck, save made for Miller. So Timmy Miller has handled the high volume that he has faced so far. Not much traffic in front of him either. 13.49 left, opening period. Face-off win, PDS as Han Shin looked to backhand it. Vivinetto plays it into the corner for Gingras. Then looked to play it to the slot and return it for Vivinetto. And that was intercepted by the Panthers. Wyatt Iwachina. And trying to squeeze his way through is Junior Cole Felton. Now Vivinetto as he looks to walk it in front. And the puck just seems to slide in to Timmy Miller for another stoppage. And a face-off to his right. Vivinetto off the face-off and a save made by Miller. Lawrenceville able to keep it in momentarily before it's played out to center ice in a scoreless rivalry game between the Big Red of Lawrenceville and the Panthers of Princeton Day School, two schools located four miles apart. Off the steal, save is made by Miller as Liam Matthews walked it to the front. Jackson tried to blast it out for PDS and is able to get it out to center ice. And now for the Panthers, a jarring hit on Terriak laid upon him by William Yee from Whistler, British Columbia. Western Canada, Vancouver native. And now here comes Gingras with speed. Nicholas Gingras to the backhand, he's canceled out beautifully. Textbook takeaway by the PDS defenseman, that was Will Brown. Brown, a much improved player, created the goal two games ago at Bergen Catholic. As Brown went to go get it, it's turned over. Feed to the front and it was just a touch behind. Otherwise, Lawrenceville would have had a scoring chance. First line back out here for Keith Dupees. He brings on A.J. Mayner. He really feels he's got two, quote, top scoring lines. And that's the difference with the boarding schools. They have so much depth as here is Miller making the save on Solovey. Down the wall, Bylin moved the cross ice. And this shot to the short side, Bylin for a brief keep in. Got some help. Solovey had the puck in his stick. Now it comes on the right wing. Feed to the front, looking for Maynard, just best behind him. A.J. Maynard on the turn. This is not a power play. Solovey. Solovey for Lawrenceville. Then looked to go cross size, but Terriak got in the way of that idea. He has the clear. PDS and Lawrenceville both in the midst of a change. Robbins backhands it up the wall. Played back in by Vandal. Riley Schmidt on the top line for PDS as he tried to find his point man, Connor Stratton, as it carried all the way through. We played nearly seven minutes. Second period, no score. Hall could not win the puck, sweeping away with it beautifully is Kyle Beck. Stratton able to lay into Postgrad student Barrett Oxenrider of Lawrenceville. He's the lone postgrad on this Lawrenceville team this year. But Lawrenceville has two players that are turning 19 this season.
that's an example of how much older the prep teams can be as here comes a delayed offside and a touch up from Leo Drazen. And that was a concern of Scott Bertoli whenever you take on Lawrenceville, the depth that Lawrenceville can bring. And he felt managing the puck tonight would be critical and then assert themselves in the offensive zone. And I think to expand on that thought, to capitalize on the chances that they may get and they may be outchanced the way this is going right now in terms of shots. Well, Princeton Day School has found chances of quality, not necessarily of volume. While Lawrenceville, they've had a good mix of both volume and quality, but Miller has stood tall. O'Rourke played it behind. Ryan Ding will win the next puck momentarily for Lawrenceville before the Panthers come out the other way. Smith will leave it for Yee. Chopping it down, Liam Jackson. Puck win for PDS. Played to the point, Shin, and then Shin had to take it away. Here comes Jet Kramer on a breakaway. Kramer is in, he scores! Jet Kramer zooms through center ice, and Lawrenceville has the lead. The Big Red capitalize, Jet Kramer all the way from Atlanta by way of Massachusetts. Beating Timmy Miller. A second look at it, clinical from Craner, his third of the season. Born in Switzerland, part of what drew him to Lawrenceville is that his grandfather lives just one mile away here from Princeton, from the campus at Lawrenceville. So of course the great comfort level, dad had grown up in New Jersey. As off this next shot, it deflects up into the netting. And the turnover by PDS after doing some great work in the offensive end, they were unable to keep the puck. And that leads to the big red goal, one nothing. The touch up for icing for the first time against Lawrenceville. 9.03 left, second period. So for Keith Dupee, he's found a goal. 10 seniors and postgrads on this Lawrenceville team this year. But as I said, there's Coach Dupee wearing the hat and the red mask. Fifth year head coach, 2019 Times of Trenton Area Coach of the Year. Great to visit with Coach Dupee from West Haven, Connecticut. Played at RPI, class of 2000, and he was actually a one year teammate. And this is a shot off the faceoff by Ryan Vandal that deflects up onto the netting. Keith Dupee and Scott Bertoli are great friends. They were actually teammates on the 2000 Trenton Titans for a year. Ace Iwanchina, faceoff win by Lawrenceville. O'Rourke made the brief connecting pass before Nick Bruno takes care of that and lays it in. PDS 0 for 1 on the power play. Lawrenceville has scored in the second period. Justin Solovey. Solovey down left wing, Maynard's backhand Knocked aside, turned away by Timmy Miller. Maynard then centered it, and PDS looking to break out. Down left wing, and good pressure being put on by PDS and Han Shin. O'Rourke nearly turned it over. Up the wall it comes, and PDS unable to keep it in. Maynard will take over the loose puck, drop pass, off for Solovey. As Solovey circles, Lawrenceville able to make a complete change. Luke Benitez working the puck deep. Now it comes out to the point, Solovey shot, and it deflects wide. 
ace Iwan China getting a stick in there. Mentioning the Iwan China family, in addition to mom, of course, being a coach at Lawrenceville, Ace transferred from Lawrenceville after 2021. He did not play there last year, but he was on the Lawrenceville JV in 2020. And perhaps coming off the best game of his season, as I said, at St. Joe's Montville. But the Iwan Chinas both played for the middle school team at Princeton Day School. So we're pretty familiar with a large number of their teammates before returning. This shot, that's knocked down, got, never got through to Richard Smith. The point shot coming from Chris Bebecki. Jack Kramer looked to go up the middle. Now at the left point, the keep for Ryan Ding, who plays it behind Miller. Seven minutes left, second period. Lawrenceville has broken through on a goal by Jet Kramer on a breakaway at the 9.34 mark of the second period. Jackson looking to work over Harrison Bylin of Lawrenceville. As it goes up the wall, it's past the stick of the Big Red and to center right. Shin, as Shin looked to center, well defended, and then he's pressed up to the glass by Lucas Robbins. Miller forced to come out to handle. Could not cleanly get it past the stick of the big red player. And down left wing is Austin Lundmark. And Lundmark with a centering feed. That's intercepted by Riley Schmidt. Schmidt able to put on the brakes. Then feed in front looking for Oliver Hall. And that puck played forward. And pushing ahead, come the big red again. 5.48 left. This is a rising shot over the blocker side of Timmy Miller wide. Lucas DeMarco was the shooter. Kyle Beck dumping it in and is able to follow his own puck. Beck. Able to keep and drop it off with the big red in the midst of a change. Then centered, looking for Vivanetto. Vivanetto steered it along. Now the point shot coming from Drazen. Will come out to the left point for Beck. Then Beck played it in front. That's intercepted, and PDS able to hold their shape defensively. Now comes Riley Schmidt. Schmidt's backhand centering feed, intercepted, and here comes Liam Matthews. Played last two years at Greenwich High School in Connecticut, and he backhands it, and it goes in. It's a goal. Liam Matthews had the backhand. We'll check it out on the replay, but the Big Red have added another. 2-0 Lawrenceville. We see the Matthews little shovel pass, and indeed, it's going to be Eric Vivanetto. Matthews on the assist, but Vivanetto has his fifth of the season. Just a little drop pass in deep, and credit Liam Matthews for sensing where Vivanetto was. And for Vivanetto, he's a transfer from Don Bosco after the 2020 school year. A dynamic skater that got himself to the front. And now PDS with work to do. Solovey, as we near four minutes left, got it to center ice for Lawrenceville. Around it comes for O'Rourke. And Tiernan O'Rourke will carry deeper. Yee, nearly the first man through, but then the Panthers off PDS come away with it. Down left wing, Stratton look to feed in front for Teriak. And the face-off, the cover-up from Richard Smith. 3.46 to play.
Liam Jackson of PDS, Jeff Kramer of Lawrenceville. Face-off win, Panthers. Then the shot knocked down by Kramer. Liam Jackson trying to win it into the corner for PDS. And now as the puck comes out, Kramer chases. Will Brown will get there first. Lawrenceville, 2-0 in the second period here at Princeton Day School. Brown fanned on it. Here's a point shot that Miller gloves as the blast came from Harrison Bylin. So the second goal, Eric Vivanetto, his fifth of the season at full 46. Uh, the second, Liam Matthews with his third assist of the year. Matthews last year at Greenwich High School. The team went 10 and five, losing to rival New Canaan in the FCAC Division I final after defeating rival New Canaan in the regular season. And now transferring to Lawrenceville for the next step in his hockey journey. Here's a shot by Vivanetto that never got through. It's blocked. Backhand flip pass into the corner for Bylin as he circles back behind. Bylin centers, then this shot off the toe. Gingris the shooter. Lawrenceville looking for a third. 2.45 left. Vivanetto handled behind. Gingris curls and up out of the corner. His shot rings wide. Bylin on the momentarily keep. Then on right wing, the shot coming from Maynard and the save, and rather Vivanetto, and the save made by Miller. Room in time for Eric Vivanetto, and Timmy Miller doing everything he can to keep Princeton Day School within striking distance. And that's a great area, great look by our crew here. And Eric Vivanetto, been very reliable, in his time at Lawrenceville, two years ago at Don Bosco, he had four goals and 16 assists for Don Bosco. The team reached the non-public A final before losing to Christian Brothers Academy. He was a high-level player at Bosco. Then the nice slip pass by Solovey, looking for Luke Benitez to try to jam it in, could not. Park worked around, Yee's point shot as he danced in from the blue line, save made by Miller. Quick puck movement by Beck. Over to Yee. And look at the depth that William Yee is able to get from his left point spot. Face-off win, Maynard, drop pass, and the Big Red pressing for a third. As they have asserted themselves in the back half of this second period. A.J. Maynard. As Maynard trying to work his way through, Chris Bebecki. Maynard is able to keep the puck. Then Yee shot and didn't get much on it. And Miller able to glove it easily with 1.44 to play. William Yee in his second year at Lawrenceville School. Keith Dupin wishes he could have played for them last year. Spent the springtime playing for the Coquitlam Express in British Columbia in the BCHL and decided to return to Lawrenceville to complete his education. Will Brown on the first puck for Princeton Day. And ahead comes Brian Kastenberg. Kastenberg looked for Jet Kramer. PDS chases and a crunching hit applied by Oliver Hall. And PDS with Ryan Vandal on a puck win. Looking to turn and fire. In tight was Riley Schmidt. Battle comes near side. Lawrenceville will turn it around and reverse it and look to come the other way. Final 50 seconds, second period. Two goals in four minutes and change for Lawrenceville is the story. Princeton Day 0 for 1 on the power play. The game's low in power play. As here is Han Shin working his way through Lucas Robbins and could not shake through the Lawrenceville defenseman. For the Honol, half minute as Kramer handles, then looked to drop it off for Vivanetto, but that was intercepted by Princeton Day's Adam Terrier. 
Terriak looked to connect with Riley Schmidt on the stretch pass. Icing waved off as William Yee touched it along. And we'll get a stoppage with 7.4 remaining. Second period, 2-0, Lawrenceville School. Coming up, we'll take a look at that exciting 2020 matchup at Baker Rink, where Princeton Day School defeated Lawrenceville 3-2 in overtime. Timmy Miller then was a sophomore. He made 19 high degree of difficulty saves to pick up the win for PDS. Final moments, a deflected opportunity never materialized for Wyatt Iwachina. And that's it through two periods with some extracurricular between the two sides after the final buzzer. And the two teams are gonna have to get separated here. And nothing more comes from it. Two nothing, Lawrenceville leading PDS. Great crowd on hand. Here, Lisa McGraw skating rink. We'll show you the highlights from the 2020 meeting and be back for the third period. You're watching Play by Play Sports Network. with his right pad. Penalty is over, full strength are the Panthers. Backhand shot, Miller made the initial save and then it went through for a goal. Score for Lawrenceville. Here's Solo sliding it along. And the shot deflected, scores through, goal, PDS! Duo starting the sequence and a goal scored. Jason Wang puts it home and Lawrenceville takes a two to one lead. BDS a chance to tie it up and they will. It squirts through, a goal for the Panthers. And good defense from Luke Antonacci. He's gonna start this breakaway and the save by Seppenfelter. Gets, gets it forward, one on one, and Miller made the save. Lost it in the end, still with PDS, here's a chance. A shot, a score! Chris Kachilla.
Start of the third period tonight from the Princeton Day School, where it's the Lawrence School leading this rivalry matchup. 2 nothing. PDS won two years ago in overtime, 3-2. The Panthers have their work cut out for them. The Big Red getting two goals in the second period. About four minutes apart. Ralph Nurkic back with you on the Play That Play Sports Network. As we look at our highlights, Jet Kramer on a breakaway from center ice, able to beat Timmy Miller. Failed keep by PDS at the left point, and Kramer had a 65-foot dash to the front. Kramer, his third of the season, came at 9.34. And then just a simple little drop pass, you're going to see Liam Matthews. About five minutes later, Matthews will drop it off. Eric Vivanetto just trailing the play. There's a nice innocent drop off pass, and Vivanetto does the rest. His fifth of the season made it 2 0 at 446 of the second period. Matthews on the lone assist, and that's where we stand 2 0 Lawrenceville. And despite Keith Dupin's team with a lot of talent, they are one, two, and two against NEPSAC programs, New England prep school programs. They have yet to shut anybody out this year. PDS, they have not been shut out at all this season. We'll see what happens for our final 17 minutes. And by the way, we will start the third period four on four, offsetting two minute minors for roughing some fisticuffs occurring between the two sides after the second period buzzer. So perhaps the game can open up a bit for Princeton Day, and we'll see if they can take advantage. Store the second period, Lawrenceville was able to work the puck in deep and keep it deep for extended periods of time, and then convert on their two transition opportunities. Princeton Day School had a lot more in terms of transition. That's been their strength this season for Scott Bertoli's team in the first period compared to the second. The second period, the ice was not opened up at all for the Panthers in comparison. So the four and four begins, Liam Matthews will lay it in for the Big Red. Down the wall came Tiernan O'Rourke, then coming out in front, working in the front was Nicholas Gingras, and almost got a shot off. Good forechecking from Liam Matthews, so reversing it all the way around is Stratton, and down the line comes Brian, make that William Yee. Hall will win it to himself, and here comes Oliver Hall for Princeton Day. Day is canceled out by the retreating William Yee. And now down left wing comes Nicholas Gingras. Across it is pass, is sticked away. Connor Stratton to deny a potential two on one, and now Riley Schmidt with speed. Schmidt down right wing, and his shot is blocked, and then he is dumped down by Justin Solovey, and Solovey is gonna go in the box. Princeton Day is gonna have its second power play. So Solovey is gonna head off for a trip. And timeout for Scott Bertoli of Princeton Day. So it comes at a critical time. We'll have a four on three power play for the Panthers. And this is a situation where you just don't practice too often. Meanwhile, recent schedule for PDS, two nothing win at St. Joe's Montfell, who's preseason number 10 of the state. A one one tie against the number four Bergen Catholic Crusaders, another positive result. Victory at Pope John, and then a 7 1 loss to the current number one ranked team in the state before Christmas, Christian Brothers Academy. PDS after Christmas, like almost everybody else in the world, went on COVID pause. They had games canceled against the Hill School, and then were able to reschedule their game against St. Joe's Montville. Meanwhile, for the Big Red, they lost four games due to COVID pause, but fortunately are back on the ice and have rescheduled already a couple of them, including a game January 24th against the Hill School. That will be their lead game. They've already had Monday's game against Wyoming. Uh, Wyoming Seminary canceled to the virus issue. So the four on three begins. And Solovey in the box as Liam Jackson handles four on three. 
for 40 seconds for PDS. And then it'll be a five on four the rest of the time. And a critical moment in the scope of this game. So it's Schmidt with Liam Jackson, Han Shin, and Adam Terrier. Three forwards and a defenseman. As PDS gained the zone, Lawrenceville will backhand it out, and this will take care of the final 10 seconds of the four on three. Han Shin. Shin carries wide against Yi, and Shin is able to maintain possession. So now a five on four begins for 52 seconds for PDS. At the left point, Wyatt Iwachina shot. Never got on target. And Lawrenceville will only briefly work it out of the blue line. Ace Iwanchina. Ace Iwanchina looked to center, could not get it to Connor Stratton, his left point man. Final 30 seconds of Princeton Day's second power play of the night. Stratton down the middle. And the active stick of Barrett Oxenrider deflected it. Stratton with the keep at the half wall. As he plays it back behind. Hall looking to move it along. AC Wanchina. Will Brown at the right point. At the left point, Stratton stepping up into the shot. Gloved to the short side by Richard Smith. The PDS power play is over. They are 0 for 2. with 13.55 left, third period. Two-nothing, Lawrenceville. Face-off win by Tiernan O'Rourke, and Lawrenceville will come the other way. Vivanetto, look for the backhand. Knocked away, pad save from Timmy Miller. Up ahead is Will Brown chases, but swooping in to handle is O'Rourke. Vivanetto again down left wing. Vivanetto looked to feed and center it for Liam Matthews. It comes along for Nick Gingras. Gingras will leave for Vivanetto, who takes a little bit of an elbow from the Princeton Day player, Riley Schmidt. The keep down the wall for Mo Wark. And finally, the momentum of the puck will carry forward for Nick Bruno, but still not out. So the keep from O'Rourke. Brown attempted to backhand. Sent up the wall by Riley Schmidt and finally out. Now Schmidt carries down right wing on a loose puck. Bebecki looked to play it across. Save is made. Smith stopping Ryan Vandal. Good shot from the high slot area. But Smith got a good look at it. Liam Jackson backhanding in. And now Gingras will lift it out and into his own bench with 12.25 to play. Prince today, coach Scott Bertoli has already used a timeout. He's trying to open this game up. His area of improvement has been playing the five on five style a little bit more below the dots. And his Panthers have been forced to play that, I think a little bit too much perhaps in this game. They have just not been able to get out and transition enough or get numbers forward. Face-off win, PDS, and the shot is blocked. And out it comes, out to Justin Solovey, and Solovey the other way had its poke check from behind. Cole Fenton may have saved the goal. Junior defenseman in his third year on the varsity. And we remain at 2-0, as Maynard almost came up with an interception. Han Shin down left wing, plays it into the corner. Jackson chases, Kyle Beck takes over and backhands to the other side where Leo Drazen will handle. Solovey down left wing, across for Maynard. Shin intercepted, and Liam Jackson pushes forward. Jackson is just a sophomore with eight points. 
And he's been a very complete player in his first year. Feed in front for Jackson. S Smith made the save, then reaches for the loose puck just behind him. So Liam Jackson found himself in a comfortable spot. Plays for the Mercer County Chiefs organization, his club hockey, and his instincts showing there. You'll see Liam Jackson just hover and find the puck finding him. Now Jet Kramer and his shots. Two saves made by Miller. Another opportunity and that's blocked. On the second attempt from Ding. Ding on the next puck for Lawrenceville. And this puck will go off the netting and will get a stoppage. Two more saves for Timmy Miller, keeping Princeton Day in this one. And this was the first shot by Jet Kramer taking it off the chest. And then the second opportunity. And now a delayed penalty coming up against Lawrenceville. So PDS will have another opportunity. Their third power play coming up. It'll be a two minute high stick against Jet Kramer of Lawrenceville. So the offensive zone draw, face-off win, Jackson. And but the puck comes out of the zone, and Shin to regroup. Schmidt over skating, and weaving with it, Nick Gingras. So Gingras shorthanded for Lawrenceville. Gingras out of the Cooper Academy in Montreal. That has sent a lot of guys to New England prep schools. He was hurt most of last year, but he has added another dimension of speed to Lawrenceville on this deep bunch for fifth year coach Keith Dupin. That puck away from Stratton. And Stratton tried to leave it for a white Iwanchina. PDS unable to win the puck in the offensive zone. 114 left on the Panthers third power play. And now Lawrenceville is able to break out. Feed down the middle, intended for Vivinetto. And Liam Jackson at his own blue line eventually will send it ahead for White Iwanchina. Liam Jackson. And Jackson's shot is gloved by Richard Smith. Smith made one substantial save in the first period that kept the game scoreless. This one, a Gordon variety save. Richard, two years ago as a freshman, a couple games here at the Lawrenceville School. Played for Team Maryland last year in Tier 1 at the AAA level, 18U, as just a sophomore in age. So he has been playing up for a couple of years. Final 34 seconds. Solovey, shorthanded with a puck win behind for the Big Red. Justin Solovey. And with patience, we'll just deal it back. Maynard, Solovey, and Solovey, unable to reach it. Ace Iwanchina was able to ward him off. Rather, that was Will Brown with the gritty work. And now the outlet pass for Hall. Five seconds left on the third PDS power play. Maynard. And up ahead, the breakout pass for Vivanetto, who fires, and the wrist shot is stopped by Miller. The Jet Kramer penalty has expired, and PDS is 0 for 3. 8.39 left, third period. And this great crowd here at PDS, hoping and waiting to erupt. And a Lawrenceville faceoff win. Austin Lundmark as he worked it up the wall. And the shot is blocked. Austin 
the son of former NHLer Jamie Lundmark. Longtime NHLer, a one-time first-round draft choice for the New York Rangers. Now down left wing, Barrett Oxenrider's backhand could not get through. Follow-up came from Austin Lundmark. Fed the point. Pile of Beck shot blocked. Lundmark looking to fish out the rebound as this puts to the corner. And PDS and Ryan Vandal the other way as Riley Schmidt looked to center it up ahead for Nick Bruno. Under eight minutes left, third period. Lawrenceville a 2-0 lead, both goals coming in the second period. Jeff Kramer and Eric Vivanetto have tallied for the Big Red, a boarding school. Just one prep on this Lawrenceville team, but a much older bunch as this shot, rising shot by Ryan Vandal the flex into the corner. As down right wing comes Brian Kastenberg as he flips it into the glove of Timmy Miller. Congratulations, by the way, to senior Brian Kastenberg of Lawrenceville. Just recently made his college decision. He'll be a student at Colby College in Maine. Colby does have a program in the NESCAC Division III. Kastenberg, 6'4", 210. If he's not going there to play, they will probably notice him walking around and get him to the rink as soon as possible. Keith Dupuy loves how much he's grown as a player, a cerebral kid that has a great understanding of the game as this is a point shot from Lucas Robbins, gloved down by Timmy Miller. At a place like Colby, if you're walking around at 6'4", 210, they'll put the hockey rink into your GPS and, and get you to the rink and get you to try out. This will be icing waved off as PDS with Adam Teriak able to wind it around. Here's a point shot coming wide from Bebecki. Follow-up opportunity, Smith able to fight it off as Teriak redirected it. PDS has not been able to get anything in transition since the first period. Now Solovine looked to find the cutting. Luke Benitez, an hour opportunity for Liam Jackson. Jackson down right wing, finds the trail of Shin, and Shin missed a great look. Han Shin could have made a 2-1 there. He had a teammate running interference. Liam Jackson found him, and we remain scoreless at 6.25 left, third period. It's a great look from Han Shin. Han with three assists on the season, looking for his first career goal. Just a sophomore lefty defenseman. Plays with the New Jersey Rockets. Vivanetto taken on into the corner. The Panthers to start from behind and Connor Stratton. Riley Schmidt. And Riley loses the edge. And Schmidt is shaken up. Riley, a sophomore, a dynamic player. Dad, Jeff Schmidt, played in the minor leagues eight years, mainly for the Trenton Titans. And as Riley turned the corner, as we see, as he takes an awkward spill as he was losing an edge trying to turn the corner and he is shaken up Riley is a freshman two goals and three assists last year as we look at see if, if he can get some medical assistance meanwhile for Lawrenceville their recent results. They trailed Northfield Mount Hermon, Massachusetts 4-1 before tying it with three goals in the fourth in the third period. Trinity Pauling is a preseason top 10 team in the national prep rankings. And now Riley Schmidt, a great sign for PDS as he is able to skate off the ice mainly under his own power. Well, PDS, they're in the non-publics in the NJSIAA for the first time in the school's history. 
They'll be in the non-public state tournament. And what a tournament that is going to be, adding the Panthers to that. PDS as a school already had tennis and boys soccer. Have some success in the NJSIA tournament. It's just a, a perfect marriage for PDS, and it, it just adds something extra to play for. And while you're going to play the boarding schools, and this shot almost fooling Smith, as that was a puck just dubbed in by Connor Stratton that almost took a right-hand turn for the better for the Panthers. As here comes Vivanetto. Penalty coming up against PDS as Miller covers the backhand effort from Gingras. And now Lawrenceville with 5.21 left will go on the power play for the first time. It's going to be a two minute cross check. And you get a good look at that replay. The puck knuckling and then swerving to its right. So here's the Lawrenceville power play for the first time tonight. And this has been the area for Keith Dupee that he has wanted to see the most growth from. As the big runner unable to keep it. And the other way, Wyatt Iwanchina. Iwanchina across, and he had Riley Schmidt. So there was the burst from Riley Schmidt that the Panthers have gotten to know in these two years. And a great sign that he is healthy and able to come out and play on the PK unit. Maynard able to gain the zone. Nick Gingras. 125 remaining on the Lawrenceville power play. And then this puck gets past William Yee. So Lawrenceville has failed to gain the zone twice. And for Keith Dupuy in the bigger picture, this is their greatest area of improvement to max out the Big Reds' potential this year. Puck comes across Solovey. Solovey down low, the backhand score! Off the giveaway, Nick Gingras. Got it from Justin Solovey. The Big Red convert unconventionally on the power play. 3-0 Big Red. And they're going to come away with a rivalry win. The puck was won along the boards by the Big Red. And Gingras showing great patience there. Has the finish. For Gingras, his second of the season. And Justin Solovey, fifth assist. He's now up to 12 points. The team leader there, but Lawrenceville able to convert on the power play despite a couple of failed entries. And now the Big Red can focus on getting their first shutout of the season. This is a backhand feed that came through and out of the reach of Tiernan O'Rourke. Comes out on the, other, on the other side in front and weaving around and through is Ding. Then this shot score came from the outside. 4 nothing, Big Red with 3.56 to go. Looks like it's going to be Tiernan O'Rourke with the tally. O'Rourke celebrates, indeed, if that is his goal, it is his first on the Lawrenceville Varsity. As he watched, this puck came out in front, Ding's second effort. And then, indeed, O'Rourke able to step into the shot in the low slot area. So Ding should get the assist, his third of the year. As another opportunity that Miller gets the pad down on. 
So the Big Red have separated and now putting on the finishing touches of what will be a satisfying victory for Coach Keith Dupee and the Lawrenceville staff. After not playing at all last year, the Lawrenceville players all were checking out local high school games. They were playing their club games as they were scattered around, but of course everybody itching to want to play. But most of the New England boarding schools did not have any season. The Lawrenceville players would play just some pickup games. There would be open ice for the student body. In the winter of 2021, they were remote the entire term. But as a team, they practiced twice a week. They didn't have their full complement of players that are not from the New Jersey area. They were all home doing online schooling and playing with local club teams like William Yee and many others. Here's Solovey's shot, and that test Miller, and Miller may have gotten a stick on it. So that was at least a way to engage with the team. Keith Dupee also had several interesting speakers on team Zoom calls, like Austin Lundmark's dad, Jamie Lundmark. And what a speaker that is. If you're not familiar, don't remember Jamie. He was the 1999 ninth overall first round pick of the New York Rangers and at the time, general manager Neil Smith. Jamie Lundmark played nearly 300 games in the NHL as Miller makes another save. Jamie Lundmark was a two-time Canadian World Junior National Team member. Six years in the NHL, another eight more playing overseas in Europe closing out his career in 2018 in Austria. Pass in front, and Miller somehow kept it out. A.J. Maynard had the backhand. Final 2-10 of the third. Somehow it remains 4-0. And here comes Solvi with the game opening up at a two-on-one. Justin Solvi in his pass, deflected by Stratton, follow-up shot by Yi right into Miller. And now the players are gonna have to be separated here. And frustration boiling over. And the last little nudge on Nick Gingras. Got the, the water boiling with 154 left. And this was the chance that Maynard had and somehow Timmy Miller coming up with another save. Well, Miller's performance tonight has shown that PDS against New Jersey non-publics, he gives them a chance to win any game. And it's gonna be a fascinating non-public state tournament. We're now in the second year of having the public schools having a class A, B, and C. So now there are a total of four state champions with high school hockey continuing to grow in the state of New Jersey. And happy to note that there is now a girls state tournament, an unsanctioned state tournament that will begin play this year. There are 15 New Jersey high school girls hockey teams, including the Princeton Day School having one of them. Morristown Baird, of course, a notable team with head coach, former New Jersey Devil, New York Ranger, Bruce Driver. And then in 2023, as this shot deflects wide of Miller, in 2023, there will be the first ever NJSIAA State Girls Hockey Championship. And that'll be some great history as girls ice hockey continues to grow in New Jersey. Of course, there are many New England prep schools that have it. Basically, all the New England prep schools that have boys teams have long had girls teams. That's about, I think, a one-to-one -one ratio. And now we're seeing girls hockey teams come up with all the schools that have noted and longtime boys teams. This is four on four for the final half minute. We had offsetting roughing penalties at the end of that extracurricular.
Lawrenceville got goals in the second period from Jet Kramer and Eric Vivanetto to make it 2-0. They've added two more here in the third. And the Lawrenceville Big Red, after a two-year wait, have their vengeance over the Princeton Day School. They shut out the Panthers 4-0 today on the road. The Big Red have their first shutout of the season. They moved to 500 on the year at 5-5-2. The Princeton Day School is shut out for the first time. Lawrenceville, 4 nothing tonight. Kramer and Vivinetto with second period goals. Nick Ingris and Tiernan O'Rourke with third period goals. And the Big Red have their first shutout. The Princeton Day School drops to 5-3-2 and two on the season. Their unbeaten run of three straight games comes to an end. So happy Keith Dupee there in the red winter hat. Shakes hands with his longtime friend, former teammate Scott Bertoli. And these two teams will meet again in yet another fierce battle a year from now in 2023. For our entire crew tonight, from the Lisa McGraw skating rink at Princeton Day School, for our producer and director Simon Rosenwasser, and our great cameraman tonight, my name is Ralph Binorchik saying so long and good night and thank you for watching the play-by-play -play sports network. 4-0 Lawrenceville over the Princeton Day School tonight. <laughs>